Welcome back to the shop, friends. So it's everyone's favorite day of the week, and today I've got a tip for you that's gonna help you build those French cleat tool walls. If you're new here, my name is Jim, and I'm the creator of the Lasting Build channel. I'm a hobby woodworker and carpenter. I make weekly videos intended to help you improve your skills and inspire that next project. So what do I have here? Well, real simply, these are scrap pieces from the tool cleat and the wall cleat that I used in the last project. These are actually the scraps that came off of the new circular saw cabinet. So all I did was take those scraps and cut them into small pieces, drill a hole in them, and tie them together with a piece of leather. So you're probably thinking, why are you keeping those scraps? And let me show you. So what I do is I take those scraps and I place them in my table saw. I've already got my blade set to 45 degrees to cut the bevel for the cleat wall. Then I can just move my fence over to the blade and then I have my exact width for the next time I need to make a cleat. I can also do the same thing when I'm making the tool cleats. By making yourself a simple jig like this, it's a big time saver in the future when you go to build a new tool holder for your wall. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I've been building French cleat tool holders for years. Not only is this little jig useful, it looks kind of cool hanging on the wall as well. So I hope you enjoyed another Quick Tip Monday video. Be sure you check out that playlist for the other Quick Tip Monday videos, and I'll see you there.